Hi, I'm Ryan Szymanski, Curator of Battleship New Jersey Museum and Memorial. Today, since we're coming up on the 75th anniversary of the Battle of Leyte Gulf, we're going to be talking about the Japanese plans to defend against the American attack. The Japanese show plans were a number of different plans designed to counter different attacks. The Japanese didn't know exactly where the U.S. were going to attack next because the U.S. didn't know where they were going to attack next. Most of the admirals in the U.S. Navy wanted to attack Formosa, modern-day Taiwan, to help relieve pressure on China. This would destroy a lot of Japanese airfields and help cut off the Japanese islands from the possessions they had taken in the south, such as the Dutch East Indies, modern-day Indonesia, which was oil-rich, key to Japanese military industry. General Douglas MacArthur argued in favor of invading the Philippines. He believed this could succeed in the same way that an invasion of Formosa could, and that it would do the same thing, plus fulfill his promise to return to the islands. The American advance had gotten close enough to Japan that the Japanese were also worried about invasions of the home islands, the Ryukyu Islands, or even southern Japan itself, the island of Hokkaido. Due to oil shortages and Allied air attacks, the Japanese combined fleet was scattered all over their possessions. The first step in any of their plans to defend against further Allied advances would be to concentrate their forces, preferably, where the Allies were about to strike. Initially, the Allies began their attack by neutralizing airfields on islands around the Philippines, not in the Philippines archipelago. The Japanese didn't know which attack was coming and started to concentrate their forces. Eventually, by late October 1944, the Allies played their hand and the Japanese were able to see that the Philippines specifically the island of Leyte, was their next objective. So uh, they were able to initiate Operation Shogo, their first plan. This involved concentrating their forces off Leyte Gulf by sailing their aircraft carriers from Japan south. Some of their battleships would go through the San Bernardino Strait, and others coming from further south would move in a pincer movement through the Saragawa Strait. All of them supposed to meet up off the island of Samar, where the American invasion forces were. Allied planning was often simple and involved the concentration of force prior to hitting the target. So American fleets like Halsey's Third Fleet and the Seventh Fleet and the invasion forces all met up at Ulithi Atoll before attacking Leyte. Japanese plans what the Combined Fleet's general staff came up with tended to be complex and require lots of moving pieces to show up in exactly the right place at the right time. If you want to find out if the Imperial Japanese Navy's plan to combine their forces off Semar worked out, tune back in later this month. We will be talking more about the Battle of Samar on October 25th. Remember to like, share, subscribe, and tune back in for more content. Special thanks to George Leone for coming up with a lot of the content for these videos.